Hey everyone, thank you so much for listening to these ideas about open source deep learning. This is a follow on to a recent video I made about demonstrations of deep learning, particularly inspired by things like Hugging Face Spaces, Gradio, Streamlit, these kind of interfaces for visualizing deep learning models and their outputs with HTML, CSS, that kind of user interface code. So we're really excited about creating demonstrations of the wev 8 vector search engine and also building things like Hugging Face Spaces. For some additional context, I've been really inspired by Hugging Face's Spaces interface as well as the existing model hub as well as the datasets hub. I've recently uploaded the Keras BERT language model weights onto the Henry AI Hugging Face account and I think Hugging Face is really like a YouTube, Twitter, that kind of style of platform or GitHub would be a good comparison as well for uh, sharing these different ideas, new content, new things people are building in general. So I'm really excited to also, in addition to showing this uh, Keras BERT model weights and data sets, to show this really cool Hugging Face Spaces example of Keras BERT. So first of all, before demonstrating uh, the Keras BERT interface and how to play around with seeing if BERT can write Keras programming code, thank you so much to Merv for setting this up. You can check out uh, Merv's other Hugging Face Spaces. I'm really grateful to her for setting this up. Super cool to uh, see this for myself. So uh, what you do is you, for Keras Bird, the general idea is it's a language model trained with Hugging Faces basic, here's how you train a language model script, it's an 80 million parameter uh, Roberta model, it's not trained with a super large amount of data, it's trained mostly on Keras code examples, the API reference, as well as a few de uh, developer guides, which are pretty much identical to Keras code examples, they would fall into the category of quick Keras recipes, if you're familiar with Keras code examples, which is in my opinion one of the most interesting sources of deep learning research out there. So it's trained with uh, mask language modeling. So you do things like uh, from TensorFlow.Keras, import mask, and see what it uh, generates. So you see using Gradio to get the generation. And in this case, Keras BERT uh, predicted layers is what you want to import from. This is the main page of Hugging Face Spaces. As you can see, they have all sorts of different demos that are complete with uh, a graphic image, a title that describes the deep learning demonstration, like fire detector, which might be an image classifier that detects whether there's fire in the picture, uh, code parrot, which is a really exciting idea, a better version of Keras BERT, or it's more close to, say, uh, OpenAI's Codex kind of style of just uh, modeling all sorts of JavaScript and Python. Super exciting idea. StyleGAN3 interpolation, that's a super exciting idea as well. As you traverse along that latent vector Z, that it's the random noise that sources these uh, super realistic face images from uh, the StyleGAN3 model. So anyways, Hugging Face Spaces is such a cool collection of what uh, deep learning models can do with their input output inferences. So we're really, really excited about building a similar kind of idea at Weaviate. 8 uh, We currently have a demo of Wikipedia and Wikidata. I've made two videos on my YouTube channel that explain and walk you through all the details of the Wikipedia Weaviate 8 vector search engine and the Wikidata graph structured vector search engine demo, which I think is a really exciting kind of novel idea. Following is a clip taken from my latest podcast with Bob Van Light, the CEO and co-founder of Weaviate 8 and Semi Technologies. Please subscribe to Semi Technologies on YouTube to see the full length podcast. Hugging Face Spaces and, you know, big thanks to Merv and Omar for helping me with my personal experience of setting up uh, my Keras BERT with Henry AI on Hugging Face Spaces is, yeah, they're building up all these demos of deep learning models and it's all in one central thing. And imagine putting all the demos of Weave and then you build a model on top of that. And that's <laughs> that's exciting. Yeah. And that is the beauty, of course, of the whole open source nature of it. So I had the Hugging Face has that. We have that. It's like it allows people to work together and build these amazing things. And back to your question about like what my role, my, the only thing that I need to do is actually just make sure that these things resonate in harmony. That's basically, that's what I do. <laughs> so other people do the hard stuff. I just, I just try to make them resonate in harmony. And uh, well, some people might argue that it's, but that's another, <laughs> for another podcast, but uh, um uh, and that is just amazing to see how that works and how enthusiastic people get about it. And and that's just I I wouldn't be surprised if this goes X ten next year, right? So that's just uh, that's just fantastic. Thank you so much for listening to this short clip of Bob and I's discussion about all sorts of things related to vector search engines. Please subscribe to Semi Technologies to see the full length podcast when it's released.